Good morning and welcome to our daily word. My name is John Robbins. I'm one of the pastors on staff. We thank you once again for being a part of this special moment. I want to read a passage of scripture from the book of Galatians. These are the words of the Apostle Paul, so I invite you to hear them. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. What Paul tells us is that we literally house Jesus Christ within us, that the resurrected Christ is an indwelling presence in our life. Jesus said, I live in you as you live in me in the Gospel of John on several occasions. It is the understanding from the Christian perspective that the resurrected Christ is very much a part of the makeup of all of us, which ought to give us a different understanding and perspective on how we view other people. The other day I was walking with my wife, Susan. We were walking through several neighborhoods. And along the way, I was critical of a couple of people and I finally had to bring it to my own attention. I told Susan, I'm kind of getting irritated with myself. I'm getting on my own nerves the way I'm talking about other people. I have to remind myself that the indwelling presence of Christ is a part of the makeup of who they are as well. And I think sometimes it's important for us when we become critical of others or we look down on other people for whatever reason as inferior in some way, which honestly, we all do that at one time or another, we can remind ourselves that within that person and within me resides the same one. He is our resurrected Lord. Paul says, I'm no longer who I used to be. Christ died for me. And Jesus Christ is an indwelling presence in my life, says Paul. So we remind ourselves how important it is to understand who it is that resides in each one of us and what that means for all of us. I hope you have a great day. I hope you take time to look around and see others because they're the very dwelling place, place of the resurrected Christ himself. Blessings on your day.